What's up, it's you? For today's video, we're the full Pokemon Alphabet Team Letter M for Magic Up. Now, the last time I did this, I did letter letter L. That's right. So we are on to letter M now. And what I did with this team, as usual, I picked six random Pokemon, starting with a letter M, and I put them on one team and made some amazing sets. If you do want to come and check my streams out, that's at twitch.tv slash peepnoyt. The link's in the description of the video. And I do so much entertainment there. And there's also entertainment you'll never see on YouTube too, so make sure you come and watch them if you can. Thank you to everyone that's sorry I come over to the streams. All right, we got three battles today. And the first battle here, this one's against your boy juice and we got a, a very juicy lead here being the vanilla right now i've got magby on my team and i did notice something pretty interesting about their team preview not gonna say any more on that topic as the battle goes on so you shall find out so we've got a max speed max special attack magby we've got mud slap fire blast smog only on pin rush channel and we've also got psychic dude now smog there is on this set so i can go into dynamax and boost by special attack right Magby actually has pretty good stats for a little baby Pokemon, right? It's got good speed as well. So Vinilux is going to get melted right out of this battle, and it's going to give me the nice early lead there. So the next Pokemon to come in here is Articuno. For a second, I'm like, whoa, this is good. This is a night type. But they troll me with a nickname, right? I had to think for a second there. They nearly got me. So to take Articuno Galar out, right, I'm probably going to need to Dynamax. And I first I want to get rid of that hail. Then I'm going to put the sun on the field, and possibly two Max Flares will be enough to take it out. Now, the thing about this is I'm Dynamaxing. I'm not going to be able to outspeed Articuno, right? So I was very, very doubtful where I was going to live like two attacks from this Pokemon. Now, instead of it taking me turn one, it's going to be going for a Tailwind. So I'm like, okay, that's good. I believe I could probably live one hit from this Pokemon, and I should be able to take it out in two hits, right? Especially after the sun being up. So Cool Dude's going to get hit pretty hard there by my first Max Flare, and the, you know, the next Max Flare is definitely going to take it out, right? So here comes the Freezing Glare on my Magby. I'm able to take it, and I'm not going to get frozen because I'm a fire type, which is going to be very handy because I probably would have got frozen there. And Magby is going to take Cool Dude out. Now, when I seen the, like, the Articuno Galar for the first time, I was like, wow, that's a shiny. And I was like, it's not a shiny. I've seen so many shiny Articunos. It's like the, it's like, it's sort of like with Charizard. It's like that's the, sh the normal ones are shiny, and the shiny ones are the normal one. Any boy, uh, anyway, your boy uh, Mr. Softy is going to slide into the battle here, and it's going to be going for Protect there, and I went for Max Mindstorm to try and get some damage there. Now, I thought they may have thick fat, so my attack's going to do nothing. And I might set the Psychic Train up on the field to help me with some uh, some damage there, right? So uh, regardless there, I'm going to be out of Dynamax. That was my final turn. And they have not used Dynamax yet. So I was like, okay, well, I'm locked into the Fire Blast. Let's just go for that. And it does a lot of damage. It definitely wasn't Thick Fat. Sheer Cold is going to miss me, thank goodness. And the Tailwind is going to peter out there, which is good. Mr. Softy is going to be going down here. So you may be able to see what sort of team my opponent was running. It was like a mono ice type team. However, there was a troll Articuno in there, Galar. So it was like, it was sort of like on the surface a mono ice team, but with that uh, Galar in the middle, Galar Articuno in the middle there, just to throw you off. Anyway, so we got the uh, Glalie coming in. It's going to be a protecting Moody set, uh, boosting its stats right here. Now, unfortunately, it got an attack rise and it got a special defense drop. So my Fire Blast is going to be hitting very, very hard here. Since I do have the Choice Scarf, I'm able to outspeed the Glalie, and it's going to be going down here. Are we going to get a Magby Street straight off the bat here, people? Or will Magby get shut down by the last two Pokemon? Find out on the Opie Nice channel. Now, the next Pokemon to come out here, right, is Ninetale. So, like, okay, that's fine. I can easily take this out with a Fire Blast. However, they do get the Veil up. I might be in trouble then. So, go for Fire Blast, and Fire Blast misses. That was very, very unfortunate fortunate there. Now, instead of going for the Veil or just attacking me, they're going to go for a Nasty Plot. So, obviously, now they know that I'm Choice Scarf because I outsped the Nine Tiles, right? Unfortunately for me, that was my very last Fire Blast, and I'm going to go for a struggle here. I can't do anything. There's no point swapping, and I'm going to get taken out by Blizzard. So, bye-bye, Magby. It was very close to a Magby sweep. Very, very close, but it simply just didn't happen. I think it might have happened if they had, like, a fully ice team. Like, didn't have to waste, like, uh, you know, Pokemon. Uh, sorry, uh, the Fire Blast on the Articuna, right? So, going to Magic Up, we got Hydro Mist, Flail, Bounce, and Splash. I've got a Sash as the item. I thought, okay, well, they'll probably just go for a Moon Blast, right? I'll leave. I'll go for Flail and do a bit of damage, right, with Flail. 
However, they're going to go for another a nasty plot here, and they're going to get plus four in special attack, which is kind of scary on Night Tiles, right? So the uh, Sash is going to get broken by the Hail, and they're going to go for yet another nasty plot. So they've got plus six in special attack. I was like, uh oh. Oh dear, this is going to be really bad. So go for the bounty. I thought, well, my first thing here would be to try and go for a paralyze. That's the best thing I can do, right? So I'm going to take a little bit more damage there to the hail. And now Nine Talos sets the veil up. So I'm like, okay, it's got veil and it's got plus six in attack and it's got very good speed as well. I'm in a lot of trouble here. So go for the bounce there. I do no damage, but I get an amazing paralyze. That was such great luck there. And finally, the hail is going to stop. Not that it really, you know, is going to change too much here. So outspeeding, obviously, due to the paralyzer, I can go for the hydro miss there. It's not going to miss, and it doesn't really do too much damage there, which is kind of be expected, right? So instead of attacking me, the Nine Tiles goes for a grudge. I'm like, what? Grudge? I'm not going to be able to take that up. Now, if you don't know what the move grudge is, right, say I go first and I use grudge, right, and then the opponent goes for a hydro pump and takes me out with a hydro pump, all of the Hydro Pump's PP gets diminished to zero. That's what, uh, you know, actually does, right? So it depletes all the uh, PP of the move taking that Pokemon out. So a really, really interesting kind of move. Not something you'd see every day of the week, though. Now, my Magic Up is going to get taken out by a Blizzard there. That's my opponent's only attacking move. Oh, now, the only good thing about this is, obviously, it's a move with a certain amount of PP. Sort of like what my Magby was. So we got Mint Center, we got it Attract, Swift, Endure, and Work Upset. Now they're going to go for a Dynamax Nine Tails here, which I guess kind of makes sense. They've lost a lot of Pokemon, and they do have plus six and special attacks. So they may as well make use of, you know, Nine Tails' uh, big special attack at the moment. And they probably don't want to miss with the Blizzard either, right? Now, my only thing that could possibly go uh, right for me would be them actually getting paralyzed. So I'm going to outspeed them. I'm going to go for a Swift. It's a technician set. Not really going to do too much. And then I get a paralyzed first. So I was like, wow, that was really, really lucky. Now, the Veil is gone. So Swift hits a lot harder with the technician. And Nightars is going to be going for the Max Hailstorm here. And, of course, the Hail is going to start to fall. Mincino is going to be going down to that one. Uh, that's fine, though. Now, the item I had on this one was Weakness Policy. And I had Max Speed and Max Special Attack Tim and Nature. But, uh, no, it, it did all right there. And I've, I've still got three Pokemon. So, it's not all bad. And I've actually paralyzed the opponent, too. So, we've got this Mashana. I am not going to be able to outspeed the Nightars here. I've got the Zen Headbutt, Giga Impact. Gyro Ball, Rock Side, Max Health, Max Attack, Brave Nature, Mashana with a Choice Band. So go for Rock Side, and guess what? It's actually going to get paralyzed two turns out of the three in Dynamax. I was very, very lucky there. I would have definitely got destroyed by the Nine Tiles at plus six there. So we've got one more Pokemon left, and I've got two more Pokemon left beside the Mashana. So once again, I am locked into Rock Side here. Now, that was really, really interesting, right? How they had plus six in its special attacks, and normally in that situation, you probably would have lost the game. However, the next Pokemon to come out is Zesku, and now they're going to get plus six in attack. So we've had a battle where the opponents had plus six in special attack and another Pokemon with plus six in attack. Very, very rare you'll see that. And, you know, if the you know, opponent's still standing after either one of those uh, things happening. So go for the rock side there. At least I'm going to break the, uh, you know, the ice face, which is going to be good. Like, and actually land like an attack against it, right? So they've got plus six in attack, and things are not looking very good right now. They're going to go for the Ice Punch on my Mashana. Mashana lives on seven health. You wouldn't read about it. And now the Rock Side is going to land Choice Band and Mashana, and is going to take out the SK. Wow, that was so crazy there. I can't believe, like, I lived that one. Mashana is, like, so bulky. Thank you for the battle, Juice. That was really interesting to see the tide turn that battle. And just like a plus six in special attack and a plus six in a hell. Uh, sorry, attack. You never ever said that would happen. Okay, the next battle. This is also a very interesting battle. This one's against uh, Azen Songs. This was on my uh, Twitch stream too. And we got a Sinister Leap. Sorry, just got to adjust my microphone here. And so I've got my uh, Magby. Of course, we're going to be going for a, uh, a Choice Scar Fire Blast. Nearly take Sinister out there. And now Sinister is going to have a Metronome on it. So we got the Metronome here, and it's going to go for a Leah. It's probably the first time you ever see Leah Sinister. Only on Pedro's channel, we see this rare, exclusive content. Now, Magby's defense is already kind of bad, so it's going to be like even worse than it was before. So Sinister there, I mean, let's just say this. The cup of tea was hot, and it sort of spilled all over you. I think I've told this story before, but one day I went through the McDonald's drive through right? This lady handed me a coffee. It was piping hot. Basically, temperature of the sun, right? She hands it to me. She squeezes it, and it goes all over my nether region. Like, it went through my jeans, and it was burning. 
it, it, it was burning my jimmies right and man it was hot that was the hottest thing it was like the sun on your crotch basically it was it wasn't a very magical experience at all let me let me trust me trust me on that one so we got this alakazam it's also a metro i'm sitting here it's going to be going for a physical move then it's going to be going for a blast bird and magby is going to be going down my opponent is running a full metronome team so a little bit of a uh, a bonus content for you i haven't done a metronome team since christmas so i don't know i might do one I might do another one either before the new game or when the new game's out. We'll see. Also, the release date was uh, today as well. So if you haven't seen that already, it's on the 19th of the uh, November, which is quite exciting. So we're about five and a half-ish months around till we get the new games, which will be great. Cannot wait to that. Anyway, so we're going to go for some uh, workups here against the Alakazam. I was like, you know what? They're going to try and sweep with Metro. I'm going to sort of try and sweep them with Swift Ride, just like the EV. You know what I'm saying? So Alakazam is going to go for a rain dance. Not really going to change the battle too much there. Now, another thing, I've had a couple of questions about this too. Now, depending on what the new games have, like as I said, the new games, the Gen 4 remakes, will I be moving from Sword and Shield to that game permanently? Okay, yes, I will be if we get... Um, the rest of the Pokemon in there. If I've got more Pokemon to use or as much as this game, yes, I will be moving there. Or I may go back and forth between them. However, if we get all the remaining Pokemon in that game, plus the Pokemon, you know, could be traded over onto that game from Sword and Shield, right? I will definitely be doing that. That'll be like, I sort of like to move to the new game too, you know. So possibly, I'm hoping I can move to the new game. So we're not on Sword and Shield for uh, three years like we did with uh, um, Sun and Moon. Anyway, so we got a physical Alakazam once again with a submission. And submission is going to activate my weakness policy, which is crazy. So now, I think I'm at like plus five or plus uh, six in special attack. And Alakazam is going to go down. I was actually kind of surprised it lived that first attack. Regardless, we've taken two Pokemon out. Let's get that uh let's get that sweep gun. So the next Pokemon to come out here is uh Sableye. Sableye, I'm I'm assuming's probably gonna go for pranks the metronome. I think I did this on one of my metronome teams, so unfortunately I can't actually have to saltily swap out there because I've only got Swift. Now we got the uh mm, the metronome coming from the Sableye here. Uh they're gonna go for a fan of force on my magic up. I was like, man. It's one of those days. So, Sableye's going to disappear from the field, and the rain's going to disappear too, which kind of sucks, because that would have powered up my Hydro Pump on my Magic Up, right? So, uh, Sableye's going to slap Magic Up straight on the backside, and I've got my uh, one health, and I've got my Focus Ash there. The best I could do here is go for another Hydro Pump, right? So, I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for Dynamax Magic Up on one health. Only I'll put my Shadow. Then I'm going to set the rain up, and now I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump. The chance of them getting a move, it's sort of like 50-50, right? Because there's a lot of status moves out there. I'm like, uh, I reckon they'll probably get a status move, and then I can take them out in two turns with this move, right? And then I might be able to get a couple other Pokemon that are, you know, down, right? So here comes the Metroid from the Sableye. I'm not going to outspeed, obviously, due to Prankster. Uh, and they get Dragon Breath instead. Dragon Breath Sableye. Only I'll pin Shadow, and down goes my Magic Up. Man, I wish I could have got the KO there. I wanted to get the KO, get the rain up, and get Swift Swim activated, but it didn't happen. Now, the next Pokemon I've got is Metagross. I didn't actually get to show you this one in the first battle, but uh, this is a uh, Power Herb Expanding Force Meteor Beam Metagross, a special set, max health and max special attack. What we're going to be doing here, also got Steel Beam on here, is going for the um, going for the Steel Beam and the combination of my special attack boosting on the Meteor Beam ride. So I can go for that, and I can. I don't think I'll take Staple out in one shot here, but I thought I might be able to just take it out with Steel Beam if it doesn't work right. So it doesn't take it out in one shot, but I can still go for Steel Beam afters. Now I could go for another Meteor Beam here. The only thing is. My opponent may get like a super effective attack. Like if it gets a super effective ghost or dark type move, I may actually take a lot of... I actually may even fake too, so I don't want to lose my Metagross here. I can't lose to a Metronome team. That's what I do, right? I can't lose to this wave. So Sableye hits me five times there with like Tail Slap, and I went for the Steel Beam just to get rid of Sableye. I, didn't want, I don't like those pranks and Metronomes, people. So bye-bye, Sableye. You were very, very lucky in those matchups, if you know what I'm saying. So we've got three more Pokemon left there. The next one here is the Ludicolo. It's looking fresh with this nice uh, pineapple shiny there. So that nice uh, look, like, it's not like that nice, it's not an, probably not an aqua green, maybe an aqua green in like that nice fresh yellow and sort of brown stripy bits uh, around the middle. So it's going to go for a spirit shackle here. I can't believe it. Ludicolo got spirit shackle and Metagross is going to go down. That was very lucky there. So it got my shadow. 
Spirit Shackle Ludicolo people. Only on people's channel. Now that's my Metagross gone. So I was like, you know what? It's time to bring back into my Minsuno. Now the problem here, right, I probably won't be able to take one hit. So I was like, instead of setting up the work up, let's take Ludicolo out. So we'll probably get close combat. Let's be real. So that's four Pokemon down, right? And we've still got two more to go. Now, the next Pokemon here is the Clefable. This thing was a pain in the ass. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. So go for Swift here. I did pretty good damage to it. So I thought I might be able to set some uh, workups up here. Like, depending on what they get, right? They're going to get a Romantic Miss. That's not going to do anything. So I was like, uh, if they get one move, it probably will take me out. It's a four hit KO on Swift. I'll keep going for Swift and I'll just take Clefable out, right? So uh, Clefable is going to get Acid Armor here too. It's going to boost the defense. It's a good thing I'm running a special set because I might have been in a little bit of trouble taking this out, right? So go for another Swift on the Clefable. One more Swift is going to take this out. Uh, Clefable is going to go for its final Metronome here and they get Leah. So Leah came up twice in this battle. Man, I'm scared by that. Look at that, that, that little, like, zoomed-in face of Clefable, the, the face of death people. So Clefable, instead of attacking me with another Metrome, is going to be swapping out. And the Celebi is going to be swapping in. It's like, okay, Celebi. Now, once again, there's no point me going for work up because once Celebi gets an attacking move, it will take me out. Getting a nice handy little crit there on the Celebi, which is nice. The Celebi is going to go for a Metrome here, and it's going to go for Toxic Spice. They're thinking ahead, right? They're thinking ahead on my last two Pokemon. They're planning everything out, people. Now, remember the Toxic Spice where it went down the field. Remember that. So I went for another Swift here on the Celebi. Celebi is going to go for a Metro here. And they are going to get high horsepower. Sorry, they're going to get Encore. I'm sorry, I just spoiled you. So they're going to Encore me into my move that I was using, all right? Now, this is a turn they use high horsepower. Because the thing I found about high horsepower Celebi is pretty funny. You'd actually be able to hit, uh, you know, uh, fire types with this move. It'd actually be pretty nice, right? So high horsepower. Sorry, I had to. I have to hold my horses. I was getting a little bit. Uh, I was jumping the gun a little bit, if you know what I'm saying. So down goes the uh, Minsano Sinsano there, and the next Pokemon is Mashana. Now this was the MVP of the last battle. Uh, sorry, the, well, the last battle before that. And I can go for any move to take this out. I was like, let's go for the Giga Impact. Now remember the move they used before, Toxic Spikes. Now they're going to use Venoshot, which is going to get a double base power boost from the Toxic Spikes they put on the field before. So that was very, very lucky. So Mashana is going to take that pink Ungan out and bye bye Celebi. So the last Pokemon we have to get rid of is Clefable. Now, the only annoying thing here, I am poisoned, but uh, I should be able to take Clefable out. Uh, you know, easily be able to take it out with one Giga Impact run. Now. This is going to outspeed me because I'm on recharge and the Clefable is going to get Dragon Rush. So I was like, okay, Dragon Rush. That's fine though because I'm on recharge. I'm not going to get flinched or anything like that. Like, I probably would have got flinched, let's face it, if I wasn't recharging. Now, Mashana's got two more turns left and it's going to go down to the Toxic Spikes. Uh, this is uh, Clefable's last turn to try and do some damage and it's going to go for a Guard Split. I'm like, ah, oh, okay, Guard Split. That's not really going to change it too much, right? We're both pretty bulky. So go for the Giga Impact. The Giga Impact misses, man. And since I'm choice banned and I'm locked in, so I can't really change moves there. I want to finish this off with the Giga Impact. So Clefable's going to go for his last move, and then it goes for a Bug Bite. I'm like, no, this is probably going to take me out. And Bug Bite takes out my Mashana. Man, if only I landed that Giga Impact, it would have been all over. Now, my last Pokemon here, people, is my Mantine. I didn't get to show you this one before. This is a Curse Dual Wing Beat Roos Mantine with Acrobatics and Moranga Berry. So unfortunately, my move didn't take it out there. Clefable is so bulky. And Clefable is going to get a healing move. It gets Roos. I'm like, oh no, please. Please don't do this. I, I can't take it, people. Even when you burst the Clefable and it's only got Metroom, you still get stalled every single day of the week. So I've got to make sure. I've, I've got to do some things here, right? I've got to go for Curse and I've got to bolster up my attack. Hopefully the opponent will hit me with a special move that'll uh, activate my berry, then Acrobatics will be a full base power. So here comes the uh, will o -Wisp. I've got Water Veil, Galaxy Brain there, so they're not going to do anything there. And now the Clefable is going to go for another Metro, and they're going to go for Heat Waves. So I'm like, that's really good, because that's going to activate my berry. And since I've got Acrobatics, that's going to double the base power, because now I've lost, my, uh, I've lost my item, which is fine. And also, say they use something like Zap Cannon or Thunder, Mantime's not going to get melted in one shot, right? So go for a Liquidation Amp really doesn't do all that much damage considering, uh, you know, uh, Mantine's amazing attack. And now uh, what happens, right? Clefable gets a bulk up, so it equaled the boost that I got from the Curse. I can't take this thing out. It's taking too long. Now, all at the same time, right, the, the clock was ticking down too. 
Now, it's going to eat a berry. It's going to have its leper berry, so it went through all of its metronomes. I'm going to go for the uh, acrobatics there. I an estimate probably two more acrobatics to take the Clefable out there. Now, Clefable is going to go for Astonish here, which is uh, very astonishing. Now, Astonish obviously is not going to do too much here. The only thing that I'm worried about now is if it does heal up or it gets a one-hit KO move there. So last turn for the Clefable, it's going to be going for its final Metro here. I'm going to take it out the next turn, I promise. And then it goes for a Perry song. I'm like, no way. If I don't take this out and it gets a healing move or something scummy like that, it's going to be a draw because it's my last Pokemon too. Go for that Kabag set and Clefable finally goes down to a crit. Holy smokes there. That battle took absolutely ages. I think we're very close to the 20-minute mark there too. Thank you, Asset Stocks, for the battle. Let's get on to the third and uh, final match here. Now, this one... This one wasn't against a Metrome team. Uh, this was against a very interesting team ago as well. This was against uh, Forza. I think this might have been on my stream on the Wycop. I can't quite remember. It's like a mix of battles, right? Now, the first Pokemon we got here is the Berserker, and it's shiny too. It's like brown and gold. Doesn't look too bad there. Now, I've got Magic Up as my leading Pokemon, and I Dynamax Magic Up so many times in these battles. I thought, you know what? I'm going to do it again. I want This time, I want to see if I can get the Hydro Pump KO or at least set the rain up outspeed and then take it out already or just get like a power boost from the max guys right i'm sure i can outspeed a berserker unless they got some i don't know choice scarf or some crazy strategy like that or i don't know salic berry something along those lines so go for dynamax our magic up first then at you know desperation dynamax here comes the fake house it's like okay i'm glad i dynamax because that almost would have taken him out in one shot so firing that high beam i think it's not hyper beam the max guys are coming out of my 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 fin, my, my back, my side fin. I think it was the side fin of the Magic Up. And now we got that rain up. Now the next attack will do a lot more damage, right? Because the rain's up. Frying the second Max guys right on the Berserker. And it's going to be going down. They're giving me the early advantage in this battle. So that's very, very good. They're taking Berserker out. I had to use our uh, Magic Up with high, like Dynamax at least. So I tried to do it most battles. So the next Pokemon to come out here is the Farfetch. Now Farfetch is going to be Dynamax as well. I was like, okay. This isn't too bad. Now, since Farfetch, I mean, Farfetch really isn't the bulkiest Pokemon out there, right? But with the Dynamax, it will get a little bit of bulk. And I feel like this won't probably be able to take Farfetch out in one shot there. It's good to see normal Farfetch being used as well. So we got the uh, Dynamax Farfetch here. Look how big that leak is. If you chop that leak up and put it in a soup, You'd probably have a lot of leaking your suit. So go for the max guys here on the Farfetch. Does a lot of damage. It's about a two hit KO round there. Um, here we go. We got the max air string from Farfetch and Magic Up will not be leaving that one. And Farfetch, we're getting a plus one in speed right there. Now Farfetch's attack actually isn't all that bad. So if I do get like, I don't know if they got a fighting type move, but I might be in a bit of trouble if they got max knuckle. So I probably need to make sure I can take this out right. So I thought, well, Metagross should be able to take it here, and I can go for the Meteor Beam and take it out, right? So that'll be really, really nice. I've got the Power Herb as well. The other moves out there were Sludge Bomb to boost my Special Attack, and I've got Expanding Force too, and Steel Beam there. Steel Beam I didn't really like to use too often unless I Dynamax Metagross, or I knew that I was going to faint that turn, so I went for my most powerful move, right? So I feel like that Max Darkness came from something like Knock Off. That did a lot of damage to Metagross, by the way. Uh, go for the, ex uh, not the Expanding Force, the Meteor Beam there. Meteor Beam sounds like so, so like perfect on uh, Metagross. I like, yes, Meteor Mash, Meteor Beam, Metagross, you know what I mean. So uh, Farfetch is going to go down to the Meteor Beam, and I'm going to get a plus one in Special Attack, which is fine. It's great. I've taken uh, two Pokemon out so far, so we've got four more to go. Now, the next Pokemon to come out here is Golduck. Now, I will say something about this too. I forgot to mention this. Now, it is my goal to complete all the Alphabet Pokemon teams before the uh, new games come out. So, I think we're halfway now on M. Yeah, I think we're halfway. So, I should be able to, about, I should be able to finish this in about two and a half months. Also, another thing to do with the Golduck's nickname, I want to try and get all my pseudo Pokemon teams done too. Like, all the pseudo typing teams. So, Golduck will definitely be on my pseudo psychic team. Like, I always thought it was a psychic type Pokemon like Psyduck, right? You see in the anime, like its eyes glow. It, it practically has a headache and does all those, those uh, you know, moves in the anime. So it definitely reminds me of a psychic, like water psychic, you know? Anyway, so back to the battle. Sorry, I just went off on a little uh, bit of a tangent there. I'm going to go for the Zen Headbutt Choice Bandit, and that's enough to take out the God with a psychic type move. How ironic. So bye-bye, Golduck. Now, the next Pokemon to come in here is the uh, Drudgy God. Uh, cave Guy Go Brr. I'm trying to remember what that 
What is that referencing? I, I, I haven't had a lot of sleep at the moment, so if someone wants to tell me the cave guy go boom, meme they can in the comment section, I definitely appreciate that. So go for the Zen headbutt here again. I mean, it does all right damage to Drudge Gone, but it's fairly bulky. They've got the home claws up. Now they're going to go for the uh, gunk shot, and that's going to take Mashana out. So I thought I might live that really badly, but then I thought, well, they've got plus one and they've got life orb at the same time, so no, I wasn't going to live that one. Now, the next smoke I want to come in here is my mint center. I can go for a, a swift here. And Senna, I was like, you know what? I'm going to see if I can get my attract strategy to go. So go for attract on the Drudge Gun. It's not a super fast Pokemon, so I thought I might be able to pull this off right. So Drudge Gun is going to get infatuated by my little Cincino here. Sorry, my Mincino. I always get these two mixed up, like, all the time. So Mincino is going to go for a work up here, right? I always think of, uh, you know what? I should remember it like this. Mincino, um... Not Mincino. Cincino sounds like Cappuccino, right? So, C for Cincino. Then the other one's obviously going to be Mincino. Anyway, so unfortunately my strategy did not work there, and they get a free speed boost up with Scale Shock. Yikes, people. Yikes. Big yeeks here. Now, I guess the only good thing is they are losing a little bit of health of life all, but I'm going to get swept here. So we're going to go to my Choice Scarf Magby. I do outspeed, which is great. I'm going to go for Psycho. I was a little bit worried that it wouldn't take it out, and it did not take it out there. I got a special defense drop, though. Not that it really mattered too much. So here comes a dual wing beat. I live the first one, and the second one right critted me, which mattered so much. However, what mattered so much there was the flame body, right? Because when you look at Drudgigon's life orb damage, it actually lived that next one, but the burn's going to take it out. That was so lucky there, because they would have been able to take my last Pokemon and have possibly won there, so that was great. Now, the next Pokemon we got here is the Mantine. I'd say Mantine would have got destroyed by that because I was running Max Health and Max uh, Special Defense, right? Now, this set was a Curse Roost Acrobatics Liquidation set, and this is the uh, Core Solar. Sorry, Curse Solar. So, going for the Curse here, I thought if I can get enough Curses up, I might be able to sweep my opponent with Acrobatics, right? This is usually a Special Attacker, judging on what, you know, what moves they've already used. I'm guessing they're going to use Special Moves, right? So here comes the uh, Meteor Beam. It's like, uh oh. Oh dear. This thing has got ginormous special attack. I mean, Mantine's got a lot of special defense too. However, they've got a plus one in special attack. And they've got a super effective move. I was like, man, this is going to hit me really, really hard. And Mantine gets absolutely rinsed there. That, my friends, is the third and final battle. I hope you enjoyed all these ones. We'll be back next week for a letter in next time. All right, people. Peace out.